Hey, this is Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset a WordPress website. So let's dive in. All right, so let's say you are not happy with how your website looks. I have this home blog and contact page here on this website that I installed with Divi. And let's just say I'm not happy with how it looks and I just want to reset it and start over from scratch. So we're going to go back here and the first thing that you might want to do is back up your website. Now, most reputable hosts are going to have daily or weekly backups. So you might want to reach out to your host and see if there's a backup or you can use a backup plugin like Updraft Plus to back up your site. So I just wanted to be upfront about that before we dive in, because once you make these changes, there's really no going back. So we're going to be using a plugin in this case. If we go over to where it says plugins, add new. We're going to go and search for a plugin and this plugin is called WP Reset. And we're just going to type that up there and it's going to be this first one that comes up by Web Factory LTD. You can see it was last updated two weeks ago and it is compatible with our version of WordPress. This is always something you want to look at. I'm just going to click install now and I'm going to activate the plugin. So now that the plugin's activated, you can see it tells us it's in Tools WP Reset. So if we hover over here, go to Tools, WP Reset right here, we can see it says Resetting will delete and it tells us what it will delete right here. Resetting will not delete and it says Media Files and it tells us that we can clean the Uploads folder to remove media files. So we're going to go through the process of doing this. And if you are happy with these options, you just want to leave this one checked here. And we're going to just type in reset and this will reset your site. They want to make sure that you actually want to reset the site. So I'm going to click reset site and I'll click reset site here. And now this might take a moment to go through. Mine was actually very quick right there. And it says site has been successfully reset to default settings. So if we go back over here, let's go and just refresh our site. And we can see that now it went to the 2020 theme right here. It just says hello world. Now, if we wanted to, we can go over and look at the media file. So let's just go and click media for media library and it says no items found. If we go to pages, we had three pages there before a home blog and contact page are no longer there. And there's also probably just our one and only plugin right here. If we wanted to, we can go to tools WP reset again. And from here, you can go to where it says clean uploads folder. Let's just click on that and it will scroll us down here to this section. It says clean uploads folder and this will delete all files and folders in the uploads folder. Let's just click that and delete everything in this folder. And it says 99 files and folders have been deleted. So that is how you would do that. If you wanted to reset theme options, you can do that as well. Delete themes. You can go through all of these different options, but that is how you would reset your WordPress website to the default setting that you had when you first uploaded it. It's actually quicker to do this in many cases than it is to go through the entire process of deleting the WordPress install and then reinstalling WordPress over again. So I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to reset a WordPress website. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.